It's more about this nice weather coming up in about seven minutes. It's more than nice, it's wonderful. Spectacular. I think the Germans call it Bundabar. <laughs> It's that kind of weather, Steve. All right, Boondevar. <laughs> I think. Right now, it's time for tonight's news with a twist. Members at a Weight Watchers meeting got the surprise of a lifetime when fellow member Oprah Winfrey dropped in Ooh. unannounced to say, Hi! <laughs> Oprah Winfrey has been part of the Weight Watchers program for a few months now and decided to celebrate this week by crashing a meeting of members. Winfrey walks in. Blowing members' minds and broadcasting the whole thing live on social media. You of know, course. we're all doing that now, yeah, Steve. Yeah, I noticed. Gal pal Gail King was along for the stunt and posted some pics online saying Oprah was a good student. Surprised you didn't say, yeah, Oprah. Mm -hmm. And speaking of unexpected guests, a women's softball game in Virginia had to be put on hold when a dust devil kicked up. Is that a Sandy, like an Amarillo Sandy uh, right there? Sort of, look at it go. That's a good dust devil right there. And of course it was caught on camera as, because say it, go ahead. Everybody does that now. You got it, we all have a camera. The athletes halted play, seemingly unfazed by the twirling mini NATO. By the way, let me tell you from personal experience, if you want to ride your bike in one of those, don't. They look the same on the inside as they do as the outside. I am speaking from personal experience. Well, we used to run into them anyway. <laughs> true. They would knock us right there on the ground. <laughs> oh, man, look at it go. Uh, there goes Dorothy. And it's, and it's gone. Okay, next in tonight's What the? <laughs> speaking of baseball, a pair of Little League baseball coaches set a poor example recently when they came oh, to blows no. at a game. Of, yeah, Steve, they do that in Florida and everywhere else. <laughs> everywhere else, too. The fight. Recorded by a spectator, because that's what happens today, occurred and <laughs> reportedly started with the coaches exchanging words after one of them switched out a player for a faster runner. There was an obscenity. <gasps> it sounds like a brouhaha. A brouhaha. That's the opposing team. A punch and then a takedown, according to an incident report, uh, before other coaches broke up the fight. A lot happened before those yeah. other coaches broke up that fight. Yeah. Get this. Police even read the Miranda rights to the coach. You know what those are. Yeah, you, you have, have right the right to, to, make to and to hit a first to first base. <laughs> but somebody threw a punch, and the other man declined to press charges, and no further action was taken. Uh, somebody won that game, yeah. and the people lost. And, and the losers are the kids, unfortunately. Yeah. New tonight, expectant mom in Indiana was not expecting this. Take a look at her ultrasound picture. Oh yeah. Ooh, the photo of her soon-to-be baby boy appears also in the picture with a crucifix. The woman says she didn't even notice the imagery until someone pointed it out. The pic was already blown up on social media with supporters and skeptics alike sounding off. Mom says she gets a kick out of the tension, but she also believes it's simply a message from above. Although she does know who the father is. New at 9, right now in Oklahoma, Danny Boy wants to help Pony Boy. The house that was used in the iconic 1983 film The Outsiders was bought by hip-hop singer Danny Boy O'Connor. O'Connor knows the Tulsa structure is in desperate need of repair, but he is up for the challenge. O'Connor has started a crowdfunding page to help save the home. The film and book The Outsiders is based on Pony Boy Curtis, his brothers and friends, as they struggle to fit in with society. You remember The Outsiders? Barely. Well, it was a movie in the 80s with Tom Cruise, oh. Patrick Swayze, Rob Lowe, and Matt Dillon, all before any of them were famous. Shock, you know, in a good way. You know, one, I'm in the outsider's house. I always wanted to see the whole house. And two, oh my God, I got my work cut out for me. Yeah, that's how you do. Happening now, the United Kingdom, also known as Britain, is celebrating Queen Elizabeth's second. Wait a minute. Second birthday? Queen Elizabeth II's the second birthday. birthday. Right, because she's not two. She's 90. Right. She turned 90 today. She's the longest reigning monarch in British history. She also received another milestone as the nation's first sovereign to celebrate her 90th birthday. Because she just won't give it up, Steve. Well, I told her. She, yeah. she doesn't want Prince Charles to be king. <laughs> He's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thursday morning, a crowd gathered in Windsor to wish her happy birthday. The queen greeted many of them saying, they receive flowers and gifts. To, later in the summer, formal celebrations will be held to mark her official birthday. Wait a minute. Are, eh, oh, never mind. Yeah, they, I guess they have birthdays all week, kind of like we do. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Culminating with the National Service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral and a giant picnic outside 
Buckingham Palace where she's going to throw frisbees and play softball. Yeah, get rid of all the poor people hanging out down there. <laughs> Let them eat cake. Woo. Next, it's strange but true. Pilot, check. Wings, check. Gas, well. <laughs> An experimental flight that took off today is missing one major component. Fuel. Oops. That's because this plane is using the sun oh. to charge its engine. The Solar Impulse 2 took off from Hawaii this afternoon. The pilot is trying to fly around the world without using a single drop of fuel. The solar plane has the wingspan of a Boeing 747, but only weighs about as much as an SUV. Hmm. That means it must have near-perfect conditions to fly. Well, that goes so much for the panhandle. Yeah. Before it took <laughs> off Thursday, the plane had been stalled on the island of Oahu for almost 10 months. What? Just, I guess waiting for the... Uh, the sun to shine? Yeah. No, the batteries had apparently overheated. Look, have you got, oh. you got a couple of double A's? <laughs> The Solar Impulse 2 now has new batteries, a new cooling system, and $20 million in fresh funding to keep the mission up and running. Mm, not very cheap flight. Turning United tonight's Hollywood buzz, Beyonce announced she's teaming up with the United Way to help the residents of Flint, Michigan recover from their water crisis. Superstar Singer is putting on a special signature event in Detroit. Her camp says it will serve as a celebration of the resourcefulness of the people of Flint and Detroit. No details have been released yet. The Flint fundraiser was announced in conjunction with Beyonce's partnership with three global charities for her Formation World Tour. In addition to the United Way, Chime for Change and Global Citizen are working with the singers Bay Good or Bay Good. Who knows? Bay Good it's Foundation. Beyonce. Right. She's uh, from the Illuminati, you know. Really? Yeah. I've she and Jay-Z both. Yeah. Didn't know that. Secret organizations and all that stuff. <laughs> They even have a sign. I bet they do. Yeah. Plus, one of last year's hottest books is on its way to the silver screen. The Girl on the Train is the talk of the web. Click, 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 click. The first trailer is out for the movie based on the best-selling novel, Emily Blunt. She's great. She yeah. stars in the psychological thriller as a woman who finds herself enmeshed in a murder mystery. The film is due in theaters in October. <laughs> also, these proud parents have shared their first baby picture, John Legend. His real name is John Stevens. I'd change my name too. Posted this photo on Instagram. That looks like a video. There it is of Luna Simon Stevens, legend's wife Christy Teigen. She's also a model. Gave birth to the girl last Thursday. It's the first child for the model slash TV personality and the 10 time Grammy winner who tied the knot in 2013. And it's understandable that Robert Downey Jr. is a bit tired after filming Captain America Civil War. A lot more rich, but tired. Mm -hmm. But he's not letting that stop him from returning to his other big franchise, DowneyTillsShortlist.com. After a five-year gap, he and director Guy Ritchie are set to start work on a third Sherlock Holmes before the end of the year. What do you think about that, Watson? I don't know. Wasn't he making like, is it $22 million per Iron Man movie? You know, I've, I've lost track yeah. because that guy is so rich, it's not even he's funny. A, he's a good success story, though. Yes, he, he is. Considering all the he, drugs he was doing, and then he, he got over it. He was way low. Yeah. Yep. Still to come on ABC 7 News at 9, we take a look at the life and legacy of Prince. That's next on ABC 7 News at 9 on the CW. Let's go crazy, Steve. <laughs> Let's get next.